Hi, I'm Chris Rawlins and I have just finished my second at the table lecture. I've had lots of fun and we have covered lots of ground. Material that involves cards, material that is straight mentalism and there really is something for everybody inside of this lecture. I'll just have you to begin with cut off a small group of cards, place them face down on my hand. I'll show you what I learned to do first. I'll try and do this quicker as well. So. You'll learn Pseudo Expanded, which is an in-depth exploration of a card memory routine that uses no memory. Right, okay. So what I've tried to do this time from memory, it takes a little more practice, is to separate the cards in suits. So this is where I remember to place the heart. Over here, if I was a violent person, I'm not, but if I was, I'd use my right hand to club you around the head, right? That's how I remember to put the clubs <laughs> over this side. Uh, facing towards the ground, if the axis was different, would be the spades, because we kind of use spades to dig into the ground. And then over here, if you were a lady and you were engaged or married, you'd wear a diamond ring over here, so that's where the diamonds go. You'll learn one card poker, which is a really fun presentation framed as a game that ends in a surprise. You now get to make every single choice. Every, his eyes are lighted up. Every single choice is for you, right? So this first card, whatever it is, is it for you or is it for me? For me. Are you sure? Yeah. Good choice. It's right there. The next card, is it for me or if you want, you can switch it with yours. I'll switch it with mine. Remember this happened? Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So this now becomes mine by proxy, but I won't look at it, it'll stay there. The next card, if you like, you can switch it with yours again. Or, as you do in cards, right, we can burn it and just get rid of it. It's up to you. I want to switch it with yours. Remember this happened, right? Okay. You're just making up your own rules. Look, you're switching it with mine. Boom. This one is now out of the game. We're going to burn it. So in a moment, you know what you could have had. I'll place this into the deck facing the wrong way. And that's it. You've made every single choice. You've shuffled, you've cut. You've actually switched a bunch. Most people don't switch that much, but I like that. Just have a peek at your card poker style. Okay. Good. You have one more choice to make, and this could change everything. The choice is whether aces are high or whether they're low. Because if you've dealt me an ace by chance, and you now say aces are low, you take me from a position of winning to being maybe the loser in the game. Because it's all about who has the highest card. So aces high or low, up to you. High. High. Show all of us, what do you have? <laughs> what was the next? What was the one you didn't want? <laughs> that's crazy. That's one card poker. <laughs> you will also learn how to take your regular billfold wallet or a spectator's and to use that in a devastating way. So I would like you to, to think of a picture, simple picture, of anything in the world that you would like. Don't draw anything too ambiguous, don't draw anything too simple, and at the same time, draw anything you want. So with, with all of those stipulations <laughs> in mind, you can draw anything. When you're finished, you'll fold it in half like this and then set it down on the table. Very good. Goes inside. Put my hand on top. Yeah, perfect. And then the next line would be something like this. Uh, there we go. Absolutely, yeah, good. Uh, pen, pencil. Mine's more like a fountain pen. Mm. That's the same sort of idea. I had an amazing time here at Murphy's for the second round and I think you really should come and join me here at the table.